Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. We're going to be doing a tutorial Tuesday for a really cool plugin for your LSPDFR. It is a standalone plugin called Crouch. It is by Faya. And I'll tell you what, I've really grown to love this particular plugin. It came out last month and was recently updated. It's a pretty fantastic mod. And we're going to be downloading this in today's video and getting this thing installed. So the cool thing about the Crouch plugin is not only is it good for RP elements, like you can bend down and maybe check on a fallen officer or a, a civilian that was shot, for example, but you can actually use this during combat too, which is pretty cool. You can press your Crouch key and you can still equip your weapon and you can uh, walk at a pretty good steady pace. And the cool thing is you can still stay Crouch and fire your weapon as well. Faye just got through updating this real recently and he's added some backend elements to actually help with uh, system performance and there's no frame loss with this particular plugin. So let's get this thing installed. Okay, it's a pretty uh, simple install process. It's a standalone plugin, which means it goes right into your plugins folder. So we're gonna pull up the main game directory and then we're gonna pull up the crouch zip file. You're gonna take that plugins folder and you're gonna drag it right into your main game directory. It is going to merge with your original plugins folder. And if you open your plugins folder, it should be nestled right next to the LSPDFR. Now you'll notice you have a crouch.ini. It's a config file. You'll see it right there. If you double click that, it should open in notepad or maybe perhaps wordpad. You can actually modify the key for crouch. The default key is going to be left control, but I decided to change mine to the C key. And then you can change the key there. There's a URL up there at the top and you can go to that URL and pick the key that would maybe best suit you for your particular needs. It also has controller support. You can go to that URL at the top and then you can sign a particular key to your controller. So there's only a couple things you need to know about how to load the particular plugin. And that is through the Rage plugin menu or you could do it in game. So what you want to do is click on the Rage plugin hook icon that you have either inside your game folder or on your desktop. Hold down your shift key for about two or three seconds. It should load in the Rage menu. Make sure your plugin timeout threshold is set to 60,000. It's my recommendations. And then go to plugins tab at the top. And you'll notice that the crouch is not checked. So in order to get Rage to load the particular plugin, you know, while you're actually playing or going on patrol, for example, then you want to go ahead and make sure that is checked and then save and launch. And then there's one other little thing you can do inside the game if you just want to load it independently. So while you're inside the game, you can pull up your Rage console by the default key, which is F4. And then type in load plugin crouch and it will load in pretty fast. You do not need to be on duty while you use this particular standalone plugin. But if you are on duty, it'll be just the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial Tuesday. I'll be back with another one on next Tuesday. And in between, I'll be doing some LSPD fire content. You guys have a good day. We'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe.